imagine this for a moment, for a split second. Seth Rollins, who has main evented a WrestleMania by cashing in his money in the bank. He was the face of the WWE. He was the face of NXT when he was on NXT several years ago. But what if I told you Seth Rollins was going to be the face of TNA Impact Wrestling? Now, ladies and gentlemen, that was exactly what was going to happen had Seth Rollins signed with that company, and he very well could have. And we bring this up right now, because if Seth Rollins was going to be the face of TNA, can you imagine how the wrestling world would have been shaped and what we would have been looking at and what we would have been seeing? Would we have ever seen The Shield? Would we have ever seen Seth Rollins, the architect, and seeing him sell himself in and sell in to Triple H and Randy Orton. Remember that little struggle. Remember that little team in tandem with Seth Rollins. Remember to share, subscribe, and leave your comments, and leave your likes, because that is perhaps the most important things you can do in this video, and share my videos on Facebook and Twitter. But yes, Rollins revealed that if it weren't for Jim Cornette intervening, he would have become the face of TNA Impact Wrestling. It didn't take long before Johnny Ace called Rollins back and offered him an opportunity to become a WWE superstar. Of course, this decision worked out very well for Seth Rollins. Jim Cornette has also discussed Seth Rollins' encounter with TNA and how he ended up convincing the architect to take another path. Therefore, we can thank Jim Cornette in some pretty big ways for Seth Rollins' WWE career and all the accolades and all the accomplishments because we could be saying something quite different like, oh, well, Seth Rollins is the face in TNA. He's at the top of the mountain. He was in Monsters Ball. Uh, you know, he was, uh, you know, in matches with, you know, Sting and Kurt Angle and the Bully Ray. And who knows what would have become of Seth Rollins in TNA. Well, viewers and subscribers, Seth Rollins has never looked back since then. And you know what? Now Seth Rollins potentially could have an opportunity, could have a chance to enhance his career even further by, well, well, we all know what Seth Rollins could do. There's another little company coming up in the ranks, coming up in the world called AEW, All Elite Wrestling. Will Seth Rollins take that path and be the face of that company? It seems like everywhere Seth Rollins goes, he becomes a face. So what your, I want your comments and I want your opinions and I want your thoughts on what do you think about Seth Rollins becoming the face of Impact Wrestling? Will he become the face of AEW next? Would it be a disgrace or should he stay in WWE? Seth Rollins, of course, will face Brock Lesnar for the Universal title this year at WrestleMania. More to come. Subscribe.